This is a repair shop part of the show we call If It Ain't Broke, You're Not Trying. <laughs> Joining us today, we got Hap Shaughnessy. What do you got for us there, Hap? Uh, is my Christmas lights red? Oh, boy. Uh, is this an untangled job, or is this find that one darn bulb that's burned out job? Because they're both killers. No, neither. The rat chewed the plug off. <laughs> you don't know how to put a plug on a piece of wire, huh? Well, yeah, but every time I try it, the rat bites me. Ow! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Hap. He's still in there. That's the main problem. Jeez, he's really hanging on there. You may have to do without Christmas lights, huh? No, no, can't do that. Gotta hang the lights. I invented them. You invented Christmas lights? Yeah. I only tried to save my platoon. On Christmas Day, we were surrounded out of ammo, and our sergeant, Sergeant Pepper, He wanted to surrender, but we were holed up in a light bulb factory. So I got this idea of stringing a whole lot of bulbs together, you see, and then plugging them in and out real quick, flash, flash, flash. And from a distance, it looked as though that was the flash of rifles firing. Well, I kept flashing the lights, the Germans stayed away, and the very next day, General Montgomery decided to give me the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now, now that's incredible, uh -huh. a Canadian soldier getting an American medal from a British general. Hey, Red Green here. I want to tell you about a brand new project. It's like nothing you've ever heard before, unless you're my age. They call it a podcast, but it's way, way more than that. In a podcast, somebody just tells you what they think. But with us, you know, that would never fill a half hour. So instead, we do handyman stuff. Plumbing and electrical, carpentry and auto mechanics. We invent things and fix things and improve things and sometimes destroy things. And we have a ton of special guests, including my nephew, Harold. Oh, <laughs> you got it. Ranger Gord, Dalton Humphrey, and Winston Rothschild doing what he does best. Sometimes we bring animals right into the lodge. We let you hear the sights of the whole Possum Lake area. We get out there and we take you with us. Plus, we answer mail from our supporters and give advice on life and plenty of other stuff we like to call filler. We don't have ads or sponsors. Instead, we're asking people like you to support us. It's a great way for you to go to Possum Lodge for a visit every month. It'll be good for you. You can get on board for as little as a dollar a month and you can quit any time. Go to redgreen.com, click on the link. Oh, and one other thing, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>